So today I started to um, replacing the uh, fuel gauge sensor. So what it does is um, when it go uh, when the needle goes um, at the quarter of the tank or so, or you know it does not really matter. Uh, it's whenever it decides whenever it wants to do. Uh, it just um, shows you on the full tank event shows you empty. Then uh, when you drive start driving, uh, it comes back on again. I'm not sure if it was the um, if it is the cable maybe uh, has a bad connection. I'm gonna inspect the cable also, but uh, I'm going to replace the uh, the fuel gauge. So uh, first thing I need to show you in my uh, truck, uh, it has the side guards here. It definitely don't need to drop the tank. Okay, in order to have a better access, this one has had a um, support here. This big armor over there. Okay, this one goes here. This one requires. <coughs> This one requires 24 millimeter socket to remove these uh, big big bolts. What is it? At? Right here. Okay. Uh, they are mounted here. You can use the uh, uh, ratchet, uh, loosen it up, and then you can use this uh, the power power wrench. And uh, there is another one uh, which is uh, this one requires. Um, uh, 14 millimeter socket okay you remove that and as you can see you can a little bit you can open it up expand it uh, it's, it's not gonna break and uh, then you will have a full access right here okay let me see get in here again so um, make sure you clean it up with uh, before you remove that clean it up with a uh, uh, brush uh, uh, and a metal brush. I used the both, you know, actually clean it up. And uh, this one requires the 25 T25 um, uh, socket, or what do you call that? Uh, this one. It's a T25. Okay. Uh, there we go. T25. And then you remove this uh, one, two, three, four bo uh, screws, uh, actually five screws, and uh, easily you can remove this. Uh, let me show you what it looks like. It is the different one than uh, original. I mean, the original is the little bit different, different design. Um, I've seen the other videos they did it. Uh, this guy, actually I got the example from him uh, because the mechanic they said oh we got to drop the tank and blah 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 doesn't need it re uh, the drop the tank um, so far I was able to remove uh, this one this totally different design you see that okay um, and uh, this uh, it's floating in I'm not sure Either this one is damaged or wire, but uh, since it's not, it was not that expensive, this is the new design. It's all in one piece like that. It comes with a gasket. Okay, this is long, but uh, I've seen that this guy didn't have to drop the tank, so I got it tilted, and uh, I don't know if I can show you how to let it in, slide it in, but uh, um, I will um, show you pretty shortly. Um, let me pause this video. Okay, um, this is um, pretty tough. Uh, uh, okay, you don't have enough room here, but so the way you're gonna slide this one in is you gotta raise this one up, and uh, once when you get gain the access there, then you can drop it this up uh, floating, and you can drop it and uh, that's it. So that's it. So you will plug the. Um, you can actually. I don't know if I can do this way. But let me see if I can. Yeah. Okay. So I guess uh, this is. Uh, um, yeah, this is. Uh, you can do that. So this um, the plug will be facing uh, out. Oh, uh, that's fine. Let me see if I can do this plug toward my direction uh, because um, that would be better if I could do this way. Uh, um, actually, this is 
good to be. Uh, let me let me try. Let me pause that. Yeah, um, uh, you you have to this um, pins over here. Uh, this one has this one for the reason because this one will align the holes there. And uh, this plug happened to be the other side, so I like to have it this side, but anyway, it's not a big deal. So anyway, this one, uh, the original plug needs to be replaced because, uh, let me go outside. Okay, so these are the different design. Original one is the right from my side and left one is the new one. So. It has to be replaced. I got it. You got to cut that somewhere. This one has a long. Uh, this one is actually long enough. So um, I got to cut it, and I make sure. Just follow the color. Um, the um, yeah, uh, co co coding here. And I'm gonna use the soldering. I do have a remote soldering, so I'm gonna try to do that. So B and A. It says it. It says there B and A. So I gotta let me see if this one has it also. Numbers. Um it does not tell me that. But I gotta play with it, so I uh, I will check I will check with it so yeah, it's not gonna be a. It just follow the uh, which side is what, and I, this one will uh, should work. Let me mount this um, um, the sensor, and uh, I'm gonna. I forgot to bring my um, the remote soldering gun, and uh, uh, we'll get it and we'll continue. So um, another way, I, that this is the easiest way to. Uh, check um, um, if it's working properly or not you know uh, just align these cables from this part uh, to the end of the uh, plug it in the, the plug the cable there first and I align the cable uh, which one is left and right and um, plug it in in here uh, right here make sure they're not touching it, uh, each other so go to the ignition and uh, turn it on and uh, when this gauge swaps in and I have to show you the fuel gauge is uh, the level then uh, this is the right position and uh, now to turn it off and uh, make sure you cut it long enough and uh, have a good solid connection. I'm going to use the solder anyway so uh, you can do whatever you like to have but um, um, I have a cramping tool also but uh, I like the solder better okay let me get this one going so I'm gonna be using the Dremel uh, Versa tip uh, soldering station this is operating on the butane and uh, I used it uh, for other stuff it was pretty slick um, um, let me show you So, yeah, it's gonna get hot. It will take some time, but um, anyway, that's what I'm gonna use. Okay, <clears throat> let me um, let me um get this one going and uh, we'll show you the uh, final results how it's gonna work hey okay, um, we're gonna use the heat shrink tubing um, I don't know what size is that but I'm gonna be using this one so I almost forgot that when I was uh, just tidying up I mean putting uh, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna just put this one on here and uh, then um, start soldering and then you can uh, use the heat and uh, shrink it yeah. okay that's how it looks it's gonna look like that uh, I can focus it properly ok 
Okay. So I'm gonna uh, the string crop is over here. Yeah. And uh, then I will use the hit, and uh, that's it. And I will cover into this insulation. Okay. Um. That's the result. I soldered it. This is the shrink wraps, and I'm gonna bury this one in in this insulation now. And uh, let's do the connect connect now first before I bury everything. Uh, wow. Wow, wow. Okay. Just wanna connect. Double check. All right, it's connected. Let's go to the cap and check how it's gonna I know it's gonna work but uh, sometimes you get surprises okay all right looks like uh, it's showing the right uh, level and uh, now I gotta do the final, final step. Uh, organize cosmetically, and uh, that's considered as done. Final. Um, I put everything together. Uh, tight them up, and uh, it's working for so far. So. If anything, uh, if there was any wiring problem, um, then uh, it will show up, um, and I will report that for you guys. But uh, so far, uh, it took me uh, an hour to complete this job. Okay, so um, if you have everything with you, you don't have to run for the tools and all this stuff. It's about an hour job. So the part itself was fifty dollars or fifty-five dollars, cheap enough. Okay, so you can do it yourself uh, instead of just, uh, you know, uh, uh, telling you that the tank, uh, it's a big job, tank needs to be dropped and all this. No, it's a, no, you don't need to. This is the Freightliner Cascadia uh, 2016, so all of them are probably the same. Some of them has a bigger tank, they may have, don't have this bar here, but uh, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. You don't need it. I didn't even remove these side skirts. Okay, so, done deal. All right, guys, signing out. Thank you for watching.